New York, I'm sorry, of the Nassau County Legislature. Uh, Kavon Abraham, sir. The podium is yours. Welcome, Mr. Bernard. Hello, everyone. First, let's give a big round to Greg. He's been doing an awesome job and is lobbying for the, the Islanders and my parallel to Chuck Schumer. <laughs> First, I want to thank our, our, our key principals today, um, Bruce, Dimitri, Brent. I want to thank you today for helping us in our transformation of this tremendous building, which obviously we pay homage to in our veterans and recognize them every single day that we celebrate our liberties in this country. So thank you again to, to, to Bruce and to Dimitri and to Brett for bringing this to Nassau County. I want to thank the, the county executive as well, Ed Mangano, and thank my colleague in government, Norma Gonzalez, as well as all of the members that are here as part of the legislature today for continuing the commitment to ensure that we transform this building into uh, the next century and for years to come. I think the county executive had said it earlier that there has been a long, long path to where we ended up today. And my parents told me, good things come to those that wait. Well, I am happy to say today that those that are looking around, this is a tremendous, if not great, if better than good, that is happening for the residents here in Nassau County. The one word I could think of, or two words I could think of, that express the feelings that I have today is one is transformation, and two is the moment of proudness that I feel as well. I see, I look out to the audience, I see my good friend Dick O'Kane here today, and one of the things we talked about for years was how this building would be transformed. How do we ensure that the weeds don't come out of the concrete and the building starts to fall dilapidated? This is when we discussed this, the path to get here today. How do we ensure that? Well, we ensure that is by partnering with Forest City. We ensure that by partnering among the members of the legislature. I see Stu Rabinowitz here from Hofstra partnering with him folks from the business community, such as Kevin Law, we continue to continue those partnerships to ensure our future is bright. Today, I, I, I brought my daughter with me, Kennedy Abrahams. Kennedy, stand on up. Some would say I'm a bad dad to let her skip school. But um, I wanted her to see here today, and I was talking to Brett a little bit earlier about bringing her back for, and my other son, my son, back for the the, the circus a little bit later, which is the last go round of the circus. But obviously, when I talk about transformation, I'm talking about transformation that doesn't leave anyone behind. Doesn't leave our local school district. I see a couple of folks here today from our local school district board behind. Doesn't leave our labor behind. Doesn't leave our community behind. Everyone moves forward. Our schools behind. No one gets left behind this transformation. Our labor doesn't get left behind this transformation. We all move forward because we all want to see a better Nassau County, which starts with the jewel of Nassau County, which is this Coliseum. So I want to continue to thank my partners in government, thank all of you today, continue to thank the, the good folks of Unidale for being a part of this as well. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless the Nassau Veterans Coliseum. Thank you again. Dr. Bond, thank you very much. No problem. I'll think about it. <laughs> Just kidding, Mr. McGano, of course. A couple of years ago, uh, let's see, my co-host, Rosanna Scotto, her sister, Elena, got married to Brett Yormark. And I never knew how much I would personally benefit from my co-host's marital situation. 